coach, uh, Mark Robinson. That was a that was a tough day on a, on a great day in many ways for the county with the 175th anniversary. Yeah, 175 days, special day for the club, isn't it? Um, great crowd, weather for a change, so everything was brilliant, but uh, our performance probably. Yeah, um, let's go back to the start of playing. Joyce electing to ask not to shoot about what, what was behind that decision, Mark? Um, a bit of more in the wicket, a bit of grass on it, um, and how generally gets slow and, and flatter as it goes along. The 400 on the scoreboard, that doesn't look the greatest decision. But having said that, you know, the chances were dropped, particularly in the first over. If that had been held, you, I guess you never know. Look, we, we didn't, for far, that we weren't our best, but we did enough to have got five or six wickets by lunch, unfortunately. We dropped a straightforward catch uh, in the first over. And Jake's chances are, and the ball went everywhere, but really to hand, when he did it, went very, very quickly. Um, it's hard to. He had a go. Jake's he played, his chances are, and he got away with it. Fair play, so that's the look of the game sometimes that you need. And um, once it got into the afternoon session, we really got in rows, it really became difficult, and we could flatten out. And, and obviously, Sammy Patel played exceptionally well, so but we, we, we've dropped five catches, four, four of them were, I think all of them were difficult, four of them, but we want to catch two of those four, then it's a different day, but we didn't, so it's, it's hard. How good a knock was that from Sammy Patel, Mark? Oh, he played really well. We didn't take the ball great right around him, but he played really well. Let's talk about some of the positives out of the day, though. Young, young Matt Hobden, really went for a few, but he bowled pretty quickly. How impressed were you with him? Lucky cat on a, you know, it's a slow deck, but he can look at the He hasn't hit the ball in the right place enough, which is his figure suggests. He got hurt by a very good player in South Africa at the evening, but he's, you know, we think a lot of him. He's got a, a good pace, a great physique, and he'll get better. And, and today, in the long, in the long run, will will be good for him. Talk about in the long run as well, Matt Pryor getting you know, 96 overs under his belt, but I guess that's, that's a positive for Sussex and country for England as well. Yeah, look, he's off and run, he's been itching to get back in, and um, it's, been, it's been a difficult time for him. And he's, he's playing there, played Friday, and he'll, again, he'll get better with the, with the overs in his legs. We lost Michael Yardy, which is a blow, but it's frustrating how we can't seem to get our best 11 out. We always seem to be losing a player at some point, so that was a blow, and he was for yards as our catcher. Two, you know, two, two specialist slicks weren't playing in terms of yards and this Jordan, that hurt us. What's the situation with Mike Yardy? Uh, he goes on a scan tomorrow, we'll have a, we'll have a better idea after the scan tomorrow. Lots of Sussex supporters tonight, we think we've all come this game's out of reach. How, how do you see the game developing? I guess first session tomorrow, pretty important. Um, yeah, look, all the sessions are important. First session, you need to bat and respond, don't you? It's all you can do is respond and stand up. But, uh, a bit of a difficult week, haven't we? We've gone through a bit. With um, the match fixing into not playing at Merchant Taylor to tracking on to Cardiff and back, etc. They like games, running game last fall, back in today. So it's been a tough little period and we need to show some character and stand up. And, and that's up to individuals. And that's one of the things we talk about, individuals standing up. Mark, thanks for joining me. Thank you.